The Cerebral Palsy Family Network is helping fund an exciting research project which will enable persons with limited hand movement to use virtual reality games. There are lots of people that are unable to use the keyboard to interact with games on the internet and um, being able to use gestures uh, just opens up a whole new world of interaction with games and other sorts of activities online and on the computer. In our research process right now, um, we've developed several games that work well um, with our, um, one of our team members, Blair, who has cerebral palsy. And so we took her gestures that she could perform and we use that to develop these certain games. But now we need to try it with a broader audience because every child with cerebral palsy is unique. It isn't like other kinds of disabilities where if you have a spinal cord injury at a certain level that you know, certain muscles won't work. With cerebral palsy, it's an injury to the developing brain, so there could be any combination of muscles that don't, do not work. So one person's type of cerebral palsy is not like another person's. What we would hope to accomplish in, in the next few years is that just as a software program would ask you when you open it up, do you speak English or French or whatever, it would do a physical assessment. So whatever movements, it would take you through a demonstration of what your own particular unique uh, movement possibilities are. And then it would adapt those to that software. People in the, the CP Family Network can help as well as other family uh, projects to continue to support research in cerebral palsy, whether it's this particular project or other projects. Uh, the, the cerebral palsy research is really beginning to accelerate. And I think with support from uh, families that we can move forward on this project and, and many other areas of important research.